Hey guys, it's uh, Ryan here with dpmarketing.services. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in for this week's video. Uh, yeah, so coming at you with the topic today that uh, we see a lot in like uh, Facebook groups and web forums and even when guys call us, uh, it's, a, it's a common thing. And uh, it's deceivingly simple and it goes something like this. Hey, can you speed up my SEO? Can you put all the SEO in, make it go faster? Something along those lines, right? Um, here's the deal. If you're wanting to speed up your SEO, I hear you. It's a big deal. But uh, let's let's just start with uh, with this. According to Google, right? So not us and no one else. Google's estimate is that it gives between uh, they provide between four and twelve months uh, before any SEO work that you're doing shows up on your site. Um, so four and twelve months. Now, in our experience, uh, if you're in a really soft market, if you're in a rural area, there's not a lot of competition. You'll probably notice the impact of SEO changes faster. If you're in a really dense, really competitive market, it's definitely going to take uh, the longer side of 12 months, if not more, to see that work really pay off. Now, um, before we turn off going like, I don't have that long, I don't want to wait that long, Here's here are some things. Uh, there are SEO practices, um, this is getting a little bit kind of into the weeds a bit, um, that are considered what's white hat and black hat. Um, that's hat, not cat. So white hat, like I'm the good guy, and black hat, like I'm being sneaky. Um, and I'll put a link to an article that we've written about that. Um, it's been a bit, but I'll, I'll link the article so you can kind of read through the differences on what that means. But generally speaking, black hat SEO is about shortcuts. It's about trying to do whatever you can do to exploit a given algorithm loophole between Google or Yahoo or Bing or whatever search engine um, you're wanting to leverage. Um, and then white hat, it's about kind of taking the slow, methodical high road. So uh, there are fast shortcut ways to kind of see really quick results with SEO using black hat techniques. But here's the downside. Um, black hat SEO, while it does get you very short-term return and very short-term um, notice of changes in the search, uh, it also is the highest risk because as soon as Google um, changes their algorithm or if they identify the techniques you're using as Black Hat, uh, they will suspend any sort of ability for you to have effective rankings from that point forward. So you're kind of like in this window where you exploit Google's loophole and their algorithm at that point in time as much as you can. And then eventually um, Google catches up and goes, ah, ah, see what you're doing, stop, you're done and game over. Um, and it's very, very difficult, if not impossible to recover from any sort of these penalties that Google put on you for, for black hat practices. White hat SEO is um, what we practice here, which is uh, there's nothing fun about it. There's nothing sexy about it. It is just really hard slugging work. Um, it involves a lot of analysis, a lot of data comparisons, a lot of building links, a lot of optimization techniques, a lot of trial and error to see what's working versus your competition. Um, it, there's nothing fast about it. But the good news is, is once we see those gains, um, for the most part, those gains stay and are stable regardless of Google's algorithm change because we focus on the best practices. Um, so now there are some things that you can do on your end to help someone like us get the most results um, and the most long lasting results. Um, the biggest one you can do, check uh, or get reviews. Uh, get reviews, get reviews, get reviews, get reviews. The more reviews you get on Google, um, the more Google tends to reward you. Um, this has been true for the last several big algorithm updates over the past few years. Um, all signs seem to indicate that Google is prioritizing these reviews to a greater and greater degree. Eventually, they'll probably soften their dependence on it. However, you will never regret having positive five-star reviews for your company on Google. You'll you'll never wish you've done that. It's, you haven't done that. So it's it's just a good focus of effort. Um, so generally speaking, again, SEO, there is no shortcut way there is no way to necessarily pay more um so for the clients we work with um for the most part it's like we assign people to the accounts we can allocate a certain number of hours every month and we can knock it out you can pay 
for like, I guess, more hours, but it doesn't necessarily equate to Google uh, throwing back that credibility to you faster. Um, so just know on the other side, however, um, if you're doing, um, if you're like doing SEO yourself, building your own backlinks, you're hiring someone for a 200 bucks a month or whatever, chances are they're going to have a really hard time having the resource capacity to do a great job for you. Um, it's just going to be resource limited. And, uh, I don't want to say you're going to get what you pay for, but you're going to get what you pay for. But, um, yeah, there is no shortcut to SEO. There are shortcuts to SEO. I do not recommend them. We do not endorse them at DP. Um, and more often than not, they're going to cause more long-term problems than benefit. And uh, the best practice is long, the long game, uh, high road, play the strategy, always improve, uh, and invest to doing the SEO as a part of a marketing mix. Don't put all of your eggs in the SEO basket because, again, it takes time. But um, – knowing that that is a, a critical strategic function for you as you grow and scale. Um, SEO is something you can't leave on the sidelines. You have to keep it in the mix, but just know it's not short-term results. It's it's the long game, but when you win the long game, uh, it's, it's fantastic. So um, that's it for the day. Um, I'll link again to the blog below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, fastest SEO results. Have you ever had an experience with like link penalties um, that Google's assess on you for black hat techniques. I just love to hear from you. Um, leave a comment below. Um, as always, guys, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you next time.